What's up YouTube, it's your boy Carvinster Reg and welcome back to another video. And as y'all can see, I got the G35 out. And I know you guys see the title and the thumbnail, but today we're gonna be explaining everything about maintenance. When should you get your oil changed? When should you get your dip changed? When should you get your transmission fluid changed? When should you get spark plugs? All of that will be in this video. I get a lot of comments about that. So I decided to just make a video so everybody could watch and everybody could learn and, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing, what you should do is, we're actually gonna pop the hood, we're gonna pop the hood. Well, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the oil changes because that is so vital for this car, especially for a D motor, because you guys know that this is notorious to burn engine oil. So y'all definitely wanna get your oil changed every 3,500 miles. Now, some dealerships will say you're good for 5,000, do it every 3,500, you wouldn't have to worry about you not having any oil in your car and definitely check oil. If you daily drive this car, definitely check your oil at least once every two weeks. At least once every two weeks, check your oil just to make sure you're good, but you should be good if you're changing your oil every 3,500 miles. I change my oil in this every 3,500 miles. Same thing with the G37, the Lexus, Acura, all that. All of them is getting changed at every 3,500 miles, especially if it's over 100,000. I always believe if you keep clean oil in your car, the engine's gonna run, it's gonna last you longer than expected, pretty much, and it's proven today. My Acura CL, what I sold to one of my partners, is still on the streets, going still to this day. I think at 300,000 miles, so definitely, definitely keep up on your oil changes. That's really the vital point of you keeping a car running is your oil change, so every 3,500 miles. So let's talk about transmission and diff. Now, I believe, I think it's every 30,000 miles, but for me, I do it every 15 to 20,000 miles and I always do it together just so I know that both of them are done around the same time. So I actually did this, I actually did the diff and the transmission fluid, I believe at 90K or 91,000, I'm at 102. So I think around like 105 or maybe 107. Since I don't drive this car as much, I'm gonna go ahead and do the transmission fluid and the diff fluid again. Um, another thing with spark plugs, I believe you want to do those every 90,000 miles. And when you do the spark plugs, you might as well just do the valve covers because they're going to be leaking. Uh, these are notorious for the valve cover leak. So you definitely want to change those out when you do the spark plugs. Just go ahead and just spend the extra money and just get them all done in one wop. Uh, your air filters, you want to do the air filters kind of like as you see if it gets dirty. Um, if it gets dirty, just go ahead and pop up a new one. This one is you kind of got to unscrew some stuff and just and kind of take the whole thing out. But with the G37, all you got to do is just pull these latches and pull up and then you can switch your air filters. But I just do those. I say do those probably like every 10 to 15,000 miles, I think. Yeah, like every 10, like every 10 to 15,000 miles, you should be cool with the air filters. Um, another thing your water pump uh timing chain and if you have a g37 gallery gasket you probably want to do those at 150,000 miles 150,000 miles you want to go ahead and get all that stuff done and yes i said timing chain replace your timing chain bro just replace it they already taking it off so you might as well replace the timing chain the water pump gallery gasket and this one has a gallery gasket too but these are not notorious to fail like the G37s, um, yeah, like the G37s pretty much. But when I do the timing chain, water pump, and all that service, I'll be doing the gallery gaskets on here just, just cause. Another piece of maintenance that I wanna say too, um, to keep your car running for a long time, is you wanna switch out your thermostats at least every 90,000 miles too, like at least every 90,000 miles. Uh, this thermostat, I want to switch out and then with the thermostat comes new fluid so you know I'm gonna get the uh, whole little coolant flush or whatever so new coolant uh, new thermostat no overheating problems you do not want an overheating problem trust me you do not want to go through those head gaskets so definitely switch out those thermostats and once you do that you'll do the whole little um, you'll do the whole little coolant flush so I'm actually be doing that real real soon and I'm gonna be switching out my dry belts too. So I'm gonna be switching out my dry belts, my thermostat, and doing a whole little coolant flush. But I think that come, yeah, that comes with the thermostat. So, um, so yeah, thermostat, coolant, and dry belts is next. Um, I just got an oil change, and then like like I said, like around 150. I'm nowhere near there yet. I'm gonna do the timing chain, water pump, gallery gasket. I'm gonna do all that together, and then. And then yeah, I should be good. The car should be rolling. The main thing is that you guys need to stay on top of your maintenance. Maintenance is key. For your car to run 
and you want your car to run a long time, you got to take care of her. You know what I'm saying? You got to take care of her, especially if you drive your car hard. I'm a product of that. I like driving my car hard, but I make sure I keep up with the maintenance. You know what I'm saying? Like I make sure oil is fresh in here. Like even before, like I ain't gonna lie. This is just me, but I don't like driving hard on this car knowing that I need an oil change. So I'll wait till I get an oil change for me to drive the car hard. Do you guys do that? Let me know in the comments, but I do that. I don't like pushing this car when I know it needs an oil change and stuff like that. So I'll go get the oil change and that's when I'll make videos of me doing pulls and stuff like that. Like I just got an oil change and I'm about to actually go make uh, a video of me kind of getting on it a little bit. Cause I know you guys like those type of videos. It shows in the views and the like. So I'm gonna keep on doing it for y'all. Just keep up with the maintenance. The car will last you a long time. This is a car that I plan on keeping forever. Um, I always mention that this is my dream car and I see um, I want to do a lot of things with this car. Um, I want to make this like a clean, simple build, you know, nice little wrap, wheels, couple carbon fiber pieces, and that's about it. But definitely take care of you guys cars and then brakes. I guess I'll talk about brakes since I'm over here looking at them. I would do those as needed. So anytime when you feel like the steering wheel shaking, you know that you need rotors or if you're starting to squeak, sometimes when it squeaks, technically you don't need brakes because this car is squeaking like in the rear, but the dealership looked at them and they said they're fine. So sometimes when they do squeak, you don't need brakes, but I would still go check them out. But, um, but yeah, I would do the brakes as needed. Same thing with the tires as needed, but really, the most important thing is you want to make sure the engine is good. You want to make sure the engine is strong, flat, fresh fluids in there. Make sure you'll never run into an overheating problem because you do not want to do a head job. Trust me, you do not want to do a head job. So keep the car running cool. You'll be straight. Uh, maintenance the transmission just so you could kind of keep the transmission lasting as long as possible. Same thing with the diff because both of those parts are expensive as well, especially the transmission. So definitely stay on top of you guys' maintenance. I just wanted to make a quick video of me pretty much explaining everything that I do to my car as far as maintenance wise and what mileage I do everything because I get that question asked frequently in the comments. Like, hey, when should I do this? 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 So I decided to make a video for him. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, go ahead and leave me a like right now. I got way more lit content coming up trust me i got way more lit content coming up but i could have even better content if you guys continue to support like you guys have but please watch the video in full like comment show your engagement subscribe if you haven't turn on post notifications and all that and i guarantee you that content will be crazy i guarantee you so i hope you guys did like this video and i'll catch you on the next one peace <laughs>